present university is a foremost Islamic private university in Nigeria established by the Islamic Mission for Africa, located in Abe Okuta. It was founded by the legal luminary Prince George Bola Abdujabar Ajibola, a former judge of the Court of Hug and a former Chief Justice of the Federation, formally approved by the National Universities Commission in 2005. It has several faculties and colleges, including the Law College, named after the founder, Bola Ajibola College of Law, with all the students competing favorably with those of highly rated universities in the globe. In a three-through event of the convocation graduation ceremony, the University outlined several activities for the graduating students to take away as they journey through life. First was the entrepreneurial lecture held on Thursday, 17th October 2019, powered by Ibeji Foundation. After the opening remarks by the founder and chairman of the occasion, the lecturer for the day took the center stage to make his presentation. Dr. Lukman Abrahim inched his lecture on the job markets. He counseled the graduate to deviate from job-seeking mentality to job creation by identifying on the skills they can acquire and utilize it to benefit them and others by being an employer of labor. What we have in Nigeria among graduates is what we call job-seeking mentality. But the new model across the world now is job-creating mentality. You must, you know, consciously create jobs. Entrepreneurship is the identification of opportunities, pursuit and exploitation independently of the directly controlled resources. What that means is, when you are talking about entrepreneur, it starts with identifying opportunities in your environment. Think big, then start small. It can also be defined as a distinctive way of thinking. Look at it. Reasoning and acting within an environmental context where opportunity exists and could be announced for value creation. It's very close to the first one, but this one starts with what? Critical thinking. So an entrepreneur is a person, is a problem seeker, a problem solver, and an innovator. Yeah. Those three things are very, very important. They actually look for problems, to solve problems in the society. If you have identified your beautiful idea, turn towards opportunities, the next thing is to come up with what? A business plan. And what is a business plan? Entrepreneurs and businesses uh, use a plan called a business plan as a roadmap for identifying potential challenges and navigating risk. A business plan is a statement of your business goal, the reason you think this goal can be met, and how you are going to achieve them. It's a very good program. The university itself has as part of its objectives in its academic brief that entrepreneurship should be part and parcel of uh, the courses that our students go through before graduation. And this is uh, a helpful addition to that effort. And I think uh, the students themselves have appreciated it. And uh, it no doubt will prove useful to them once they graduate. The jobs are not there. That's the reality. And uh, you must take the good by the own to identify a gap yet to be filled in the society. Once you do that, put it down in pen and paper and look for good mentors. There are so, mentors, so many good mentors around. You must ride on the shoulders of giants. You learn a lot from those who are already established. And when you put those ideas into practice, your business will move to the next level. Friday, 18th of October, was the convocation lecture that had the proprietor, pro chancellor, and other members of the school management in attendance. The event started in NS, and the opening speech by the vice chancellor, Professor Ibrahim Bajabia Mela. Professor Kamil Omotesho, pro vice chancellor and dean, College of Business, Law and Social Sciences, University of Derby, United Kingdom, delivered his lecture titled Professional Ethics and Nation Building. In appreciation of the well delivered lecture, Prince Bola Ajibola gave a few remarks, which was followed with a vote of thanks by the university registrar. Who is a professional? I will define a profession as any type of work that requires special training or a particular skill set and is respected because it involves a high level of education. Originally, the word professionalism applied to vows of a religious order. Professional organizations often establish codes of professional ethics to guide members in performing their job functions according to sound and consistent ethical principles. This is in order to ensure the professionalism, positive public perception, and the integrity of the profession. The whole the nation, the society, and the people deserve a duty of care. And this is ensured through professional ethics set for all their members. The lecture we have had today is a very good one. It is uh, 
a lecture that teaches moral as well as education together. We are very happy to see the lecturer touching on so many grounds. It has come at the right time and the points the lecturer have made are very, very pertinent to what is happening in this country. All we need to do is to study the lecture very well and uh, dissipate it and uh, extend it to all uh, other universities and if possible publish it widely so that people get to know what the problems of this country are. And maybe that will be the beginning of uh, thinking how to uh, reverse the situation and get back on the ethical past. The Malays we have in the country today and um, what we know happens from top to bottom in terms of corruption and in terms of uh, people not uh, being honest about whatever they do. So it's a national malaise like the lecturer pointed out and it runs through all facets, uh, whether in business, whether in uh, government, whether in um, religious houses, it's everywhere. And it's uh, something we should all be talking about at all times. It has been great, uh, it's part of our activities to prepare our graduates for the future in the area of academic and their professional life. In the sense that as, we are, as, we, as they are graduating, we want to equip them with the basic characters as well as motivational skills, as well as certain professional and behavioral skills to survive in the market and to create a niche for themselves. It was a very good lecture that gave us some principles uh, and fundamentals in how to build the country. And I was happy to be amongst them because he touched upon very important topics that we need to abide all in order to uplift uh, our country. Saturday the 19th of October 2019 saw the convocation proper where first masters and honorary degrees were conferred on graduates and prominent distinguished first class traditional rulers and educationists from Saudi Arabia. Dr. Abdurrahman Hamad Tamami with invited guests seated. The over 400 graduating students filed into the hall to take their seats. The proprietor's welcome address was delivered by Prince Maruf Adi Mwajibola on behalf of his dad, which was followed by the convocation address by the Vice Chancellor, Professor Ibrahim Bajabi Amela. The honorary degrees conferred on the recipient after a brief citation. The Alaki of Egbaland responded on behalf of others. It's a great honor to be here today to thank you for what you are doing to humanity and to pray that in your own lifetime you will get a lot of fulfillment in this effort that you are making and that self-actualization, the joy of seeing those who started without any hope at all and getting to the very top of their chosen career will be realized in your lifetime. The Sinosha of all eyes was the best graduating student, Alima Ibiroke Abdul Salam, amongst others awards by deserving recipients. In the executive governor's speech presented by its deputy, engineer Noima Salako Yedili, commended the effort of the school and ended our speech with the announcement of automatic employment for the best graduating students. The education you have received is a life jacket. This life jacket will keep you afloat through life's challenges. But what you should know at all times, that whoever puts their trust in Allah will not fail. I would like to convey to you that His Excellency Prince Dr. Dakwa Biodun congratulates the best graduating student, Halima Ibiromke Abdusalam, and has asked me to convey to her that the state government will be willing to employ her on completion of her mandatory National Youth Service Corps. Further endorsing the credibility of the university, Professor Abdullahi Ribadu, who represented the Executive Secretary of National University Commission, however, counseled the school to get to the zenith of full accreditation from the present level it has attained. Our camera crew caught up with the graduates, parents, guests, and some of the school management to get feedback from a very well-coordinated convocation ceremony, wishing the graduates success in their future endeavors. All thanks to Allah, and also, I was actually determined right from the start, and... I'm really glad I got there. This year's best graduating student has beat the record and come out with a 4.93. So it's a situation of up and up. And we're delighted that yet again it's a female students because there's a special emphasis on the girl-child education in this university. The school authority has tried. Though there is room for improvements, they can still do better in the years to come. I think it's a fantastic one. Uh, I'm impressed uh, with the fact that uh, most of... Uh, the best graduate students here were females. 
and it shows um, how gender education has improved in Nigeria. This is a great school. I tell people the faculty of law is not inferior to the faculty of law in the University of Lagos. The lecturers take their work very seriously and they are very competent. Our own special position in the university, that whatever we need is, is there and uh, our facilities are first class. We build entrepreneurship into our program so that they are not all, um, always applying for work. They are job creators and they have other skills. We believe that our graduates, because of academic and moral excellence, I do well in the job market. We are growing rapidly, gradually, organically, because we don't have all the kind of funds that we will need to grow faster. But uh, this is quite encouraging and edifying and uplifting and we give gratitude to Almighty God for making it possible. In recognition of his erudite scholarship, Mr. Barakim hosted a guest lecturer of the Convocation Lecture for a breakfast meeting that had friends, family members, and former colleagues in attendance at the exotic Redison Hotel, Ikeja. In a speech, the founder of Ibeji Foundation, who is also the MD of Mr. Barakim, Al-Aji Adesaibisi, went down memory lane to eulogize the good quality of Professor Kamil Omotesho. You can have a staff that can be this dedicated, this committed. Once you push him to his, the devil, he says, and he's not going to change from that. He has never changed. And that's him. Simple, realistic, and he can deliver whatever assignment you give to him. The task before you now is that we want you to take Dawa to the next level. Why is it that people, Muslims have no capacity for peaceful resolution? In Nigeria today, we have more than 1,000 Muslim organizations. Is there any forum that brings them together to discuss their common problem and find a common solution? That is the next level we want to take Dawa to. Professor Kamil, you must profess like you have been certified. And you must profess in such a manner that your impact and the impact of your work will be felt. It is going to be the count of those and its direct relevance to the challenges that are confronting us as a people, as an umm. Whatever we do, diligence is important, hardworking, and whatever we do, integrity is very important. Not everything is about money. That opportunity for guests to make comments and goodwill messages while eulogizing the personality of Professor Kamil. We wish Professor Kamil Omotesh success in his endeavor and a greater eyes for Mr. Barakim and Ibeji Foundation.